we talked a lot when Logan came out and um, that was su such an exceptional goodbye to that character. Is there any part of you, look, we're excited. We're, it'll be fun to see Hugh obviously back in Deadpool in that context, sure. a much different kind of a movie. At the same, at the same time, is part of you like, wait, we had the perfect send off and this lessens the impact a tad or what Logan delivered at the end? Well, yes and no. I mean, there's a part of me that, 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 uh, felt we stick the landing, but we did it. it. The great thing about movies is, again, I'm just not that meta. I'm, I'm much, you know. Maybe there's a good reason Harrison and I get along so well. Maybe I'm just really very practical very old, and just. I'm a very yeah. old man hiding in in a <laughs> slightly younger man's body. But the the but the reality is, I just we did end Logan well. Yeah. And it did have its impact and continues to. And. I'm not really sure that anything diminishes it or takes it away um, uh, in any real way. Um, that that the thing, if it if it works, it works. And and it's not like the new mo movie Hugh and Ryan are working on takes place after Logan, so he doesn't. Uh, so um, in a sense, they're just making a prequel, if you will, and. Right. And and tonally, you know, um, because I've talked with them about this, uh, I even was uh, heavily talking with about them a few years ago. Um, you know, I'm imagining it's going to be some kind of midnight run or 48 hours with these two guys just on the run. It sounds amazing. Yes. And, <laughs> yes, and uh, it sounds fun as hell. And and I don't think so because I don't think in universes. I just think in movies. I think we did it. You know, yep. and and. There's plenty of wonderful films that have had sequels that were different or not quite the same or, and if things don't work, they vanish. That, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. if they work, that's awesome. So, you know. Right. So having said that about kind of, you know, not thinking in terms of universes, you were though developing the X-23 Laura film for a time. Did, did you ever have a script for that? Like how far did that I go? Never, I never had a script. I started, I started working on a story and um but i don't think of that as a universe i just love the character and i thought daphne is such an incredibly dazzling actress i mean i thought um you know you talk about gambles on movies the amount of weight we put on an 11 year old girl in that movie um i mean it's happened paper moon with tatum o'neill right. or the exorcist um uh there's movies where the child performance just shocks everyone in its depth but the um she was so miraculous in that movie and fierce and and i think people responded on so many levels to it you know even people with just difficult children um uh, <laughs> uh recognized the recognized logan's plight trying to kind of uh deal with her and the um but i was really curious about how that would work but it happened at exactly the moment um disney bought fox and casualty of the merger yeah. yeah yeah and then then interestingly at that point there was no interest in in continuing any semblance of what had been the fox uh marvel universe um but my how things change and suddenly uh, you know, <laughs> mutants are hot again yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. 